So we see here, the Most High have his, the righteous people cleansing the land of these bodies. And this is the land once again being cleansed. It says at the end of the seven months, they will make a search. The search party will pass through the land. Here's the search party. And when anyone sees a man's bone, a real bone, people, when anyone sees a man's bone, he shall set up a marker by it till the barriers have buried it in the valley of Haman God. The name of the city will also be called Hamana. Thus they shall cleanse the land. They're cleansing the land once again. You can't put a you can't put a cleansed people on a abominable land, a wicked land, un a defiled land. You cannot put cleansed people, clean people, on a defiled land. You have to cleanse the land in order for the clean people to be able to operate on the clean land. This is the scripture put this together so beautifully to understand. Uh, what's going on with the land being cleansed before the people can reside in the land? Here our people go today. Some of us running into the land of Yashara right now. It's defiled. They're, they're over there teaching, telling others to come to this land. And we're not to be in that land we're not we see in the scripture we're not going into that land to after this war after this 40-year war until then and the land has become cleansed that's when we go in the land here we have people not understanding scriptures they're trying to run to south of the land of ham thinking that's the land of yashara once again if it was it's not cleansed what are you doing what are you doing we done bumped our heads the devil has beat us ragged. Let me make a point about this. We don't seek the most high where we should go. We follow whoever and we follow people in the wrong area. Watch this. You go to a wrong area and everything looks good. I told you this. You go to the wrong area. The people was loving it. Everything looked good. I told you everything that glitters ain't gold and you're happy. Look at what you have. But the Most High, that's not the place for his people. And so what? His favor won't be upon you. And so when it's hard to find work, it's hard to find jobs, things ain't going right. Now you're ready to leave that place and run into another wrong area, running away from where you should be. You see, we have to dig in the scriptures to know where we should be. We have to have a relationship with the Most High. I told you, don't listen to me. You follow the Most High. And if the Most High tell you to go somewhere, make sure it was him that told you and not the devil. Know and understand when the Most High speaks and when the devil speaks. But I told you, we don't know one voice from the other. All right, Desi Scrolls to him 10. I walk on limitless level ground. See, the ground we walk on, it should be level. It should be firm. And I know there is hope for him whom you have shaped from the dust from the everlasting council. You have cleansed a perverse ruach of great iniquity. When this stuff, when all said and done, the Most High would have cleansed us of a perverse ruach of great iniquity that it may stand with the host. Here it is. Us being his host, Elohim, Yahuwah and his host, with the host of the Kadash ones, and that it may enter into the community with the congregations of the sons of Shamayim. So we see these cleansed people, and we see them in the midst, the sons of Shamayim and the sons of men together, righteous in righteousness. This is the Most High's plan. For his people. We have to understand the plan for his people. Okay. All right. The last um last scripture here. This is Scrolls 11 Q14. 
and he shall barack them in the name of the Most High of Yashara, the Mighty One of Yashara, answering, he shall say. So we know when the Most High cleansed the land, when the Most High cleansed the people, the people will be barack. He's going to barack the people in the land. Answering, he will say, the son, the sons of Yashara, may you be barack forever. Another point here. This is something else that does not line up with the prophets that's in the book of Revelations. This thousand year reign, it does not line up. All through the Dead Sea Scrolls and all through the prophets, once this happened, it's forever. The people will be set up forever. There is no thousand year reign. There is no enemy coming back to deceive the people again. So you have to know what's written in the prophets. And in the Torah, in order to know that's not true. So like you may be Barak forever and ever. And may his Baraka, and may his Kadash Malak be Barak. May the Most High Allahim Barak you. He's, the scripture is telling us, those who do what he say do, those of us within the borders trying to do, trying, you know, to do what he commanded us to do. He said, may the Most High Barak you. May May his shine, may, may he shine his face towards you and open to you his good treasure. The Most High has a good treasure waiting to be opened for his people. And it is not the treasure the mo that the Christians told us. Watch, we're going to see, which is in Shamayim, to bring down, here's his treasure, to bring down on your land. This is coming down on you this cleansed land for this cleansed people showers of baraka now here comes the showers of baraka do he will make do on the ground for the plants to grow rain he's going to bring rain down for our crops to multiply early rain and late rain and it's time to give you the fruit of the produce of coin wine corn so we can eat food to eat wine to drink and this won't be gooey's wine this won't be the wine of serpents right now our people are drinking the wine of serpents this will be a kadosh wine this will be wine that we that we did you know noah made his wine our people made their wine they didn't get it from another nation what is this where did this come from? And here we go. With this wicked wine, we have to be able to distinguish between righteousness and unrighteousness. And that wine is wicked. And oil, plentiful. We need oil for our skin. We need oil to cook with. We need oil for our hair. We need this oil that's going to come from these trees that the Most High has planted. And this is our Baraka. This is how the Most High Barak his people. May the land, may the land produce for you fruits of delights. Once again, it's saying, may the land. He's going to bring down the rain, the dew. He's going to bring down the showers of Baraka. And he's saying, may the land produce for you fruits of delight. And you shall eat and grow fat. Here we go. Nothing spiritual. The first man had to plant and sow. The last man will be planting and sowing, and we will be bringing offerings to the Most High once again. And you shall eat and grow fat, and there shall be no miscarriages in your land, and no sickness. We saw one miscarriage after another with our people. Read all through the scriptures. Read how Hannah prayed to have a child. They was barren. Many of, the, many of them was barren and couldn't bear children. They was having miscarriages and they wasn't getting pregnant because of something the men had them to drink. So there will be no miscarriages in your land and no sickness. Blight or mildew shall be oh, no sickness, no blight, no mildew shall be seen on its produce. So this mess, once again, it will be Barack. There should be no loss of children, no stumbling in your congregation. Notice, congregation, one, 
oneness, plural, right now in the earth, there are many congregations, too many. And this is a mess. This is foolishness. Don't hook yourself up with these congregations. No more stumbling blocks. No more Paul's letters. No more stumbling blocks. That's what it's saying. No more stumbling in your congregation. And the wild beast shall withdraw from your land. The wild beast going to withdraw from you. We can't live in shalom with the wild beasts in the land. The sword, here we go. The sword shall not pass through your land. Why? The swords have been burned, destroyed. They will learn war no more. And remember, the scripture says, the meek, now you understand when it says, the meek shall inherit the earth. The righteous will inherit the earth and the wicked will be cut off. We're reading the wicked's been cut off. And what we're reading now, the righteous are multiplying and being barak. They're going to scratch their head. Where are the wicked ones? Where are they? Show me the wicked one and you will not find a wicked one. It says for you, for Yahuwah is with you. When all of this takes place, when he take the land, cleanse the land, when he put the cleansed people in the cleansed land, Yahuwah will be with you and his Kadash Malachs shall be present in your congregation. Let that sink in. The Malachs, whoever taught this, whoever told us that in the kingdom, the Malachs will be in our congregation. The Malachs will be within our midst. Who told us this? But this in the scriptures. And his Kadash name who the people call us sacred namers. Shame on any wicked person that give us this name, sacred namers. And his Kadash name shall be invoked upon you. He would give us his name. This is why we don't have to fuss and argue over his name anymore. The new people, once again, until you learn his name, refer to him as the creator, Refer to him as the Father. Refer to him as the Almighty. And you will keep yourself in the clear with him. You are not profaning his name by doing this. Because all these other names are profane. All of these other names that they're claiming are profane. Until you come to the understanding of what his true name is. Um. Once again. We have this notion, many people, we're going to heaven. We're going to be raptured out of here. We're going to be, the spaceship's going to come get us. The chariot's going to come get us and we're going to be in heaven. That's not what the scripture is saying. That's a lie. The kingdom will be set up on earth. The earth right now is a wicked mess. It's a wicked mess and the most high is going to cleanse this place. He's going to kill up the wicked. The righteous will get up the bodies, bury the bodies. There will be those that cleanse the land. The most high going to cleanse the people, cleanse the land. And we end up with a cleansed land for a cleansed people. My last question, who in their right mind would not want to partake of this? Who? This is a question you have to ask yourself. Why wouldn't you want to partake of this? This is why we came out of her. This is why we are within the borders. This is before us. This is ahead of us. And this is why we don't have time arguing, fussing with people. If people want to do something, do it. You people that want to go to South Africa, do it. Don't try to make me and others go with you. You go. You go, you and your family, go. We're not trying to force anyone. You shouldn't be forcing anyone to come where you are. Come over here, come over there. You should be telling the people, if you're righteous, you should tell the people, get in contact with the Most High for yourself and go where the Most High has told you to go for you and your family. Let this be a warning that we don't lead people astray. Let this be a warning to all of those so we don't lead people astray. All right, cleanse land for cleanse people. Shalom.